So my company goes into other companies and we help them understand what it looks like to properly conduct yourself in business, env business environments uh, as it has to do with business etiquette. So when you're at a networking function, how to behave when your employees go uh, and have dinner with their clients, how to behave um, and in different types of situations, what it looks like to have proper protocol and etiquette. And you really don't want to lose your best employees or the clientele or the money. So make sure that you're pro properly behaving when it comes to business etiquette. As first of all, you never want to assume anything out of anybody. And if you've hired that employee as a manager, you obviously felt that they had some value to add to your company. So with that in mind, if you come up to them with a project that you've just asked them to do, and you automatically come to the assumption that they've done it wrong or done it differently than you asked them to, rather than ask them, why have you presented this project this way? What are the pieces that went into it? And start asking them those questions. Now you've established a much more uh, respectful relationship and a much more proper relationship, and you're gonna get more out of that employee. Many of the offices that I go into have a space for their clients to come into. Well, something that people really need, uh, and sometimes we make a joke about this, because sometimes what people really should do is have a huge sign there for themselves. Maybe it's an invisible sign uh, to the clients, but essentially what you want to realize is this space is designated for clients. So inter-office interactions, if there's language uh, that shouldn't be presented when there's clients around, uh, you know, some of these things should not enter that space. There should be a proper caring of yourself within that space, a proper posture, a proper language that you speak within that space. There, there should be a certain uh, border, a, a certain a boundary that happens between any type of employee interaction and most especially managerial uh, to the employee and vice versa. So sometimes, yes, you might be a family type atmosphere, your office might function as a family, but make sure you keep those boundaries, otherwise it's improper business etiquette within an office environment. So it's wonderful to see how business etiquette and really changing some very simple things within your company could actually translate into sales and very, very happy employees.